Hi, and welcome to another video tutorial of TechSavvyMarketer.com. My name is Vittorio Bosio, and today I'm going to introduce you to Adobe Photoshop Elements, which is a lighter version of the famous Adobe Photoshop, which was specifically designed for website graphics. So for less than $100, you can buy this software and create all the images you will ever need for your website. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a website header and by doing this we're gonna see all the major functions of Adobe Photoshop and you're gonna learn how easy it is to compress an image so that it is faster to load on your website let's start with a quick tour of the main functions of Adobe Photoshop Elements so as you see on the left I have the toolbar here are listed all the tools that I can use throughout the program uh, on the right I have the palettes which are actually not fixed uh, in the screen so you can actually move them around also as you see you can move the toolbar around uh, as you want and uh, in particular here I have the layers and I'm gonna tell you what these are uh, the layer styles we're gonna use them to apply some cool effects to the text and to the image that we put in our website header and uh, as you see on the center I have the image uh, I can create as many images as I want and put them here and select them as I need I can also open images that I have on my hard drive for example and here on the top I have the menu in particular today we're gonna play with the edit the image and the enhance functions just to give you a quick overview of the of what these are so let's start right now by creating our website header let's start creating our header so to do that we click on file new and here we can decide the, the size of the image we have in this case 770 times 130 I click on OK and Photoshop Elements is going to create this new image and as you see here on the bottom left I have the zoom percentage I actually gonna put that to 100 percent so this is the real size of the image that I'm gonna have on the web uh, the first thing I want to do is to open an image that I bought on iStock photo I do file open it's on my desktop and here it is so in this case I'm gonna create a a uh, header for a website that is selling a course on DVD on how to play the guitar so I'm, I want to basically import this image into the header that I just created to do that I just need to click on the image and drag and drop it here as you see I have selected this tool that allows me to move a layer or an image around the screen so now I have the image in my header but as you see it's way bigger than my header so I need to resize this to do that I just click on control T on my keyboard and I have this box right now around the image what I want to do is to resize the image so I'm gonna click on shift so it's uh, resized proportionally and then I'm gonna use the angle I can just move it back here and again with shift I can modify it. I want to put it more or less here okay once I'm done I just click again on this tool so it's gonna apply the changes that I made to the original image which is now um, small enough to fit in my header uh, I could have applied you know a lot of changes to these images just by clicking on enhance I can adjust the lighting and make it you know the backlighting just making it darker I can use uh, to the this function to adjust the brightness or the contrast and as you see it's gonna add more contrast to the image or increase the brightness but actually I like this image as it is we're gonna actually apply some uh, effect uh, to the text I'm gonna insert in the logo okay we have just inserted an image into our header we want to uh, insert a text to do that we just click on this tool on the toolbar we click 
whenever wherever we want on the header because then we can move the, uh, the text layer wherever we want and we mm, insert our text let's say the uh, website is called playtheguitar.com first of all I just need to select the black color so that I see <laughs> what I'm um, writing so this color here is the one is gonna use is be used in the text so let's say that the website is called playtheguitar.com so if I click on this tool again uh, Photoshop is gonna apply the changes that I made to the layer as you see now on the right I have three layers uh, playtheguitar.com which is the text that I just inserted and I have the image so uh, first of all I want to make the text bigger so I double click on the layer and I want to make the test text let's say 48 no maybe it's too big I say 36 yes well actually I could even make it actually even bigger so let's go with 48 for example and here I have it I double click again I want to use the anti-aliased effect so it's gonna smooth the edges I want to make this bold I want to make it also italic yeah and yeah let's say that I want to change the color I'm gonna make this blue so I can actually change the color of the text uh, here this is basically the toolbar that appears every time I select the text tool as you see I can modify the font as I just did the size and also I can modify the color so I'm gonna go with uh, you know this kind of blue sorry now you see it so I just selected this color click on OK I apply the changes and now as you see I'm gonna make this smaller you see that the text is there so it's it's a very simple header for the moment but just to give you an idea of what you can do with Photoshop now I want to apply a shadow to the text so uh, by paying attention that the right layer is selected I just gonna click on this effect so I selected drop shadows low and this is the, uh, the shadow that results I could have chosen another shadow for example the hard edge or you know the noisy and once I I choose a, a, a shadow I can click on this icon that you now see on the layer I'm gonna double click on it and as you see I can decide the, the distance of the shadow if I make it 2 it's gonna be my 7 so let's make it 3 for example and I can actually change the direction of the, the light so that the, uh, the shadow is moving around I'm gonna set it back to 120 so OK now I have the uh, the text and I applied some changes to it and one thing I want to show you is basically the whole philosophy behind the layers so here is the the layers palette and basically what I can do is if I move this down in second position the guitar.com is gonna be behind the image if I put it back where it was it's gonna be in front of the image and uh, the more images I add to this logo or the more text basically I will have more layers so I'm uh, it's really easy for me to move things around and when I save this as a PSD file it's gonna um, keep all the layers so that if I want to open it uh, in the future and change something it's gonna be really easy this is the real power of Photoshop compared to other image editors for example you know uh, in Windows you have paint but you can't really do this kind of stuff with paint so for example if in I want to change the color of the text I just double click on the layer and uh, I want to make it you know orange this is how it would look like so we just change it it's really easy and uh, this is how it looks like so I'm gonna save the image as a PSD file so let's call it header so I just saved it as header.psd now I'm gonna close it and show you what happens so I'm just gonna open it again here is header.psd 
and this is what happens basically I have again all the I'm gonna change the zoom I have all the uh, layers so that I can move them around and change everything I want and then once I'm done I can save this as a JPEG or a GIF file so that I can publish it on my website 